Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today I want to show you pixel mapping in MA2 using the bitmap fixture. So today I want to show you how you can easily set up the bitmap fixture um, that is the pixel mapping in just two steps. It's really simpler than, than you would have thought it is. Um, and then next week I'm gonna bring you a video of all the other crazy stuff that you can do with this bitmap fixture. Because truth to be told, pixel mapping is the easiest of all exercises for this crazy little fixture. Um, I'm just starting to discover all the crazy things you can do with this, but uh, I think it's really important that we cover this fixture because it gives you tremendous opportunities for show programming. So today I just want to get us started by showing you how you can set it up, how you can um, pixel map your fixtures, and then how you can create content for free really easily uh, using Google Docs. And also keep in mind, everything that I'm showing you today is just going to use static images, but obviously, as you would expect it from a proper pixel mapping, you can also just load up videos the same way I'm going to show you in just a second and then use those um, on your pixel mapped fixtures. So uh, let's open up the console and then I'm gonna show you the two steps that you need, literally only two steps, um, to get a pixel mapping going in Granum 3 d So you can see here, I have a ton of fixtures set up in MA3D and uh, the ones that we see here in the middle are just your regular uh, RGB fixtures arranged in the matrix, nice and neat. So the first thing that we need to do is go to setup, then go to patch and fixture schedule. And I already prepared a layer uh, for the bitmap fixture, but obviously you don't have to put it in a special layer. So go to library and then enter MA lighting as the manufacturer. I already went ahead and did that and then select this bitmap fixture. Now what's really cool is we're going to program this, this pixel mapping onto this bitmap fixture. So when you play back your pixel mapping, it's going to essentially output on that bitmap fixture. And that's really important to keep in mind because if you wanna have multiple pixel mappings being played back at the same time, uh, just patch in multiple of these bitmap fixtures and just play them back, just like a regular fixture actually. But for now, one will do. I just close the fixture schedule and hit yes to confirm that I really want to apply these changes. And now let's open up screen two. Now the first step was patching up this the fixture, uh, the bitmap fixture. The second step is to set up the output area. And for that, we need a layout view. And you can see over here that I already went ahead and uh, patched up all of my RGB fixtures right here. And now what we have to do as the second step and then we're ready to go is take this rectangle and then draw it around the fixtures that we want to output onto. And then go to visualization and hit bitmap. And that's it. Now the other options um, I, I encourage you to check out these options because essentially if you, for example, uh, pixel map an arrangement that's overhead, then you would want to select something else here. But right now we're just looking at these RGB fixtures uh, in the same way that we're looking at them in the layout view so we can just uh, use the regular bitmap visualization. But seriously, that's it. Um, that's all you have to do. One last step so we have quick access. I'm, I'm just going to set this bitmap fixture and sort it in a group right here so I can easily access it. So let me just rename that to bitmap. Or let's just say pixel map. Nice. All right. Now what you can also see in this layout view is that I open up the image pool and I already loaded up some predefined um, images. These won't really be useful to us. So again, I'll show you in a second how you can create your own content that will probably already help you build some really cool looking sequences and effects. 
But first, let's check out how this bitmap fixture works in general. So obviously what you wanna do is first of all, select the fixture, and then you can see down here, we have the dimmer and then uh, control and video, but really what we're gonna use is dimmer and this video part. And to see the output later on, let's just set this to 800 and then go to video. And now what it already pre-selects right here is the V object mode. And this is where it gets interesting. And this is kind of where you um, activate the output of your bitmap fixture. So what we do here is actually just select a layout view to output um, this bitmap fixture onto. And then we have to load up an image. In this case, we're just gonna use image 27 right here. And now you can already see it. Uh, so I'm not sure how visible it is in the in the MA3D. Um, let me show you actually, let, let me move around this image a little bit and then you can actually see it better. So in the video attributes, this part right here is interesting because if you keep clicking on this, then you will see all these different options um, of how you can modify the bitmap um, that you just project onto these fixtures. And so these two are the most important ones because you control the output layer and the image that you want to, that you want to display. Um, and the second most important is probably this right here. This just is the position of uh, the bitmap. So now if I move this around, you can see something's moving down and up again. And you can see right here, we also have color. So this image that we see here in the preview actually is projected onto the fixtures. Now we can actually go ahead. Let me just create a, an effect real quick. So since this is just a regular fixture, what you can do is totally go in here and then assign a sign, for example. And now you can see that the image is moving through um, the through the output. And let me just store that up on an executor so we can access it again. I'm just going to clear the programmer now and then go ahead and play this back. And you can see it works just great. Now on to the second point. I think one of the um, slightly harder to understand concepts about bitmap fixtures is that they actually output onto the area in the layout view that you set up. So this, this playback right now is set to output on layout one and it's going to output on these rectangles that you set up. So watch what happens when I move this rectangle around. Now all of a sudden this playback will only cover these bottom uh, fixtures right here. And what's greater is if we delete this rectangle, I mean, obviously it's going to stop the output, but now let's just set up a few more rectangles and see what happens. So here we can set up our first rectangle around the left half, go visualization bitmap, and you can already see it starts playback. Go please. And now let's set up a second one. Actually, let's go like that. Again, go visualization bitmap, that's all you have to do. And now we have the same sequence being played back twice. I mean, that, that's just crazy. Um, so the, the power of this bitmap fixture is that you won't determine which fixtures it plays back on based on a static selection, but rather you can totally switch around the selection here. Uh, you can create new areas. You can um, also just go ahead and, for example, copy your layout over and then set up completely different rectangles in this one. Um, maybe also just put these on different fixtures. So that one sequence that you set up, um, if you program it right, you can actually just swap it over to some other output area really, really fast. And that's um, where bitmap fixtures get so incredibly powerful because what I'm gonna show you next week 
is that these bitmap fixtures, if we look into the video part again, if we go through here, we can actually see that there's a mode. And right now it's set to RGB and dimmer. And that's what we expect from a pixel mapping. We want the image to be output as the color of the fixtures. But if we look in here, we can actually see that you can also use bitmaps to set presets. And that's what we're gonna cover next week because this is a whole nother level of just insanity. But before I let you go, what I wanna show you is how easily you can create content for your bitmap fixture, which will probably already help you build some really cool looking sequences and effects. And for that, I wanna bring up Google Docs, believe it or not. So let me just disable MA3D for a second. So this is a drawing inside of Google Docs. It's really nothing fancy. And if you're watching this video with a YouTube account, you probably already have a Google account. So let me just draw up a shape right here. Let me just rotate this really quickly. All right, let's put it like that. I'm just going to remove the border and then give this a nice blue color. Perfect. And now what you want to do is go file and download as a PNG. Now this is really important. You can see right here, if you ever worked with a graphics program, you'll know this, but this checkered background means that the background isn't set as transparent. And if you download this as a JPEG image, this whole background will be white because JPEGs don't support transparency. But with a PNG image, it supports this background transparency that we see right here. And we'll see how uh, incredibly useful that is in a second. So now what I'm gonna do is open up the show folder. And for that, I'm just going to open up the start menu and then type in show. And you can see right here, there's a link um, that comes pre-installed with your on PC um, installation and it takes us to the show folder. Just go up once and then go over to import export. And now I'm just going to make this a little smaller. And now what we can do is directly drag this into the import export folder. Perfect. Now what we're gonna do is just right click and let me bring up the 3D again. Now what we wanna do is just right click onto an empty image slot and then import image. And you can see if we now switch to import export, there's our image. And you can already tell that the background is transparent and you can probably already guess what this is gonna look like on our fixtures. Um, so again, just as a reminder of how you can program your bitmap fixtures, select it, go to dimmer, set it to full, then go to video, go to V object, select your first layout as the output layer, and then as the image, select image 29 right here. All right, and let me just actually delete these two rectangles. Um, so we just have one left. Come on. Oh, I want to hit delete again, probably. All right, so now again, we're still in setup mode, so I can just draw the rectangle over here as my new output, go visualization bitmap. And now we should be able to see this arrow. Now again, let me just, uh, <laughs> let me maybe move it around a bit so you can see it. Um, unfortunately, it's, it's kind of not so bright. I probably picked a pretty dark color. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but um, we should be able to see it. Let me just put an effect maybe on it again. All right, so lesson for myself today, if I'm going to design something to be output on RGB fixtures, I better, um, you know, use something that's a little brighter than this. But point being is you can easily um, just create a shape inside of Google Docs and then import uh, the PNG version of that into MA3D, into your console. And then with the help of a bitmap fixture, you can easily use simple shapes 
to bitmap something really cool onto um, your RGB capable fixtures. So that's a primer to pixel mapping in MA2 for you. And that's all you need to know. It's really easy. Patch up the bitmap fixture, then draw a rectangle around your fixtures in the layout view and select bitmap as the visualization. And then you're done. Then you can bitmap whatever you want, images and videos onto your RGB fixtures. And if you want to repeat what I just did, if you want to play around with the setup I just showed you, then make sure to download the show file in the description below. Next week, we're going to take a look at how you can use the bitmap fixture to visually program your fixtures. And this is going to blow your mind, I promise you. This is just amazing. So, in order to be notified next week when I upload, because sometimes I don't quite make it on a Monday, but it's going to be next week. So, subscribe and turn on your notifications. Por favor, it would be amazing. And until next week, my name is Jonas. Uh, that's it. Have a great week, you guys. Take care. Bye-bye.